People's Liberation Army Air Force, Wikipedia article audio. The People's Liberation Army Air Force is the aerial warfare service branch of the People's Liberation Army, the armed forces of the People's Republic of China. The PLOF was officially established on November 11, 1949. As of 2014, the PLOF has a strength of around 398,000 personnel and is the largest air force in Asia. History The PLA's first organized air unit, was formed in July 1949 at Beijing Nanyuan Airport. It consisted of six P-51S, two Mosquitoes, and two PT-19S. On October 25, 1949, Liu Yelo was appointed as the Chief of Air Force in the People's Liberation Army. By November 11, the Air Force Command was officially formed from the headquarters of Liu Yelo's 14th Bing Tuan. Much Soviet assistance was received to help the process along. The PLOF fought the Korean War in Soviet-built Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-15S, known as the J-2 in Chinese service, with training from Soviet instructors. The war also brought Soviet assistance for the indigenous aircraft industry. The Shenyang Aircraft Corporation built the two-seat MiG-15 UTI trainer as the JJ-2, and during the war manufactured various components to maintain the Soviet-built fighters. By 1956 the People's Republic was assembling copies of MiG-15S and eight years later was producing both the Shenyang J-5 and the Shenyang J-6 under license. Korean War to the Sino-Soviet Split The 1960s were a difficult time for the PLOF. The withdrawal of Soviet aid due to the Sino-Soviet split, and the prioritization of the missile and nuclear weapon programs, crippled the industry, which markedly declined through 1963. A recovery began around 1965 as J-2S, J-5S, and some J-6S were provided to North Vietnam during the Vietnam War. Development of the Shenyang J-8, China's first indigenous fighter, was also initiated during the 1960s. The 1980s the PLA Air Force underwent reorganization and streamlining as part of the reduction in force begun in 1985. Before the 1985 reorganization, the Air Force reportedly had four branches, air defense, ground attack, bombing, and independent air regiments. In peacetime the Air Force Directorate, under the supervision of the PLA General Staff Department, controlled the Air Force through headquarters located with, or in communication with, each of the seven military region headquarters. In war, control of the Air Force probably reverted to the regional commanders. In 1987 it was not clear how the reorganization and the incorporation of air support elements into the group armies affected Air Force organization. The largest Air Force organizational unit was the division, which consisted of 17,000 personnel in three regiments. A typical air defense regiment had three squadrons of three flights, each flight had three or four aircraft. The Air Force also had 220,000 air defense personnel who controlled about 100 surface-to-air missile sites and over 16,000 AA guns. In addition, it had a large number of early warning, ground control intercept, and air base radars manned by specialized troops organized into at least 22 independent regiments. Modernization Program In the 1980s the Air Force made serious efforts to raise the educational level and improve the training of its pilots. Superannuated pilots were retired or assigned to other duties. All new pilots were at least middle school graduates. 
the time it took to train a qualified pilot capable of performing combat missions reportedly was reduced from four or five years to two years. Training emphasized raising technical and tactical skills in individual pilots and participation in combined arms operations. Flight safety also increased. Ranks and insignia In 1987 the Air Force had serious technological deficiencies especially when compared with its principal threat, the Soviet armed forces and had many needs that it could not satisfy. It needed more advanced aircraft, better avionics, electronic countermeasures equipment, more powerful aircraft weaponry, a low-altitude surface-to-air missile, and better controlled anti-aircraft artillery guns. Some progress was made in aircraft design with the incorporation of Western avionics into the Chengdu J-7 and Shenyang J-8 the development of refueling capabilities for the B-6D bomber and the A-5 attack fighter, increased aircraft all-weather capabilities, and the production of the HQ-2J high-altitude surface-to-air missile and the C-601 air-to-ship missile. Aerobatic Display Team Although the PLOF received significant support from Western nations in the 1980s when China was seen as a counterweight to Soviet power, this support ended in 1989 as a result of the Chinese crackdown on the Tiananmen protests of 1989 and the later collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. After the fall of the USSR, the Russian Federation became China's principal arms supplier to the extent that Chinese economic growth allowed Russia to sustain its aerospace industry. In the late 1980s, the primary mission of the PLOF was the defense of the mainland, and most aircraft were assigned to this role. A smaller number of ground attack and bomber units were assigned to air interdiction and possibly close air support, and some bomber units could be used for nuclear delivery. The force had only limited military airlift and aerial reconnaissance capabilities. Organization Order of Battle Air Bases Equipment In the early 1990s, the PLOF began a program of modernization, motivated by the collapse of the Soviet Union as well as the possibility of military conflict with the Republic of China and perhaps also involving the United States. This process began with the acquisition of Su-27S in the early 1990s and the development of various fourth-generation aircraft, including the domestic J-10, and the FC-1. The PLOF also strove to improve its pilot training and continued to retire obsolete aircraft. This resulted in a reduction of the overall number of aircraft in the PLOF with a concurrent increase in quality of its air fleet. The 21st century has seen the continuation of the modernization program with China's huge economic growth. It acquired 76 Su-30 MKKS from 2000 to 2003, and 24 upgraded Su-30 MK2S in 2004. It also produced around 200 J-11S from 2002 onwards and bought three batches of the Su-27 SK-UBK. Production of the J-10 fighter began in 2002 with an estimated 200 aircraft in service currently. The PLOF also began developing its own tanker aircraft, which it previously lacked, by modifying old H-6 bomber. In 2005 it announced plans to buy approximately 30 IL-76 transport planes and 8 IL-78 tanker planes which would greatly increase its troop airlift capability and offer extended range to many aircraft, though as of 2009 this deal is still on hold. Predictions of the PLOF's future aircraft fleet indicate that it will consist of large quantities of Chengdu J-10 and Shenyang J-11 as its main force, 
with J16 and JH7A as the PLOF backbone precision strike fighters. Future stealth fighter projects such as the Chengdu J-20 will be inducted into the air fleet in small numbers, assigned to elite PLOF selected pilots. The transport fleet will comprise Y-9 medium-range transport aircraft, along with the Soviet Ilyushin IL-76, and domestic Y-20 heavy transport aircraft. Its helicopter fleet will comprise Z-20, Z-15, and Mi-17 troop transporters, and the WZ-10 attack helicopter for its ground forces. A WAX-AEW will be refined variants of existing service fleet of KJ-2000 and KJ-200, with UAV-UCAV in early stages of service in the PLOF. Senior Colonel Wu Kuahui has said that the PLOF is working on a stealth bomber, which some people have called the H-18. According to a 2015 Pentagon report, PLOF has around 600 modern aircraft. The ranks in the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force are similar to those of the Chinese Army, formerly known as the People's Liberation Army Ground Force except that those of the PLA Air Force are prefixed by meaning Air Force. See Ranks of the People's Liberation Army or the article on an individual rank for details on the evolution of rank and insignia in the PLOF. This article primarily covers the existing ranks and insignia. The markings of the PLOF are a red star in front of a red band, it is very similar to the insignia of the Russian Air Force. The red star contains the Chinese characters for 8 and 1, representing August 1, 1927, the date of the formation of the PLA. PLOF aircraft carry these markings on the fins as well. The August 1 is the first PLOF aerobatics team. It was formed in 1962. Aircraft inventory of PLOF August 1st A aerobatic team includes the J-10 and it has previously flown the JJ-5 and J-7. The Skywing and Red Falcon Air Demonstration Teams, which operate Nanchang CJ-6 and Hengdu JL-8 respectively, were established in 2011. The Air Force headquarters consists of four departments, Command, Political, logistic, and equipment, which mirrors the four general departments of the PLA. Below the headquarters, military region air forces direct divisions, which in turn direct regiments and squadrons. The PLOF typically used the system of threes in its organization at division level and below, i.e. three regiments per division three squadrons per regiment, and so on. The situation is now more fluid, with several divisions only having two regiments. There are also independent regiments within the MRAFs. The 15th Airborne Corps is under direct control of PLOF headquarters. Beijing Military Region, Chengdu Military Region, Guangzhou Military Region, Jinan Military Region, Lanzhou Military Region, Nanjing Military Region, Shenyang Military Region. Fifty operational air divisions were created from 1950 to 1971. This situation did not change until 1986, when the PLOF began converting one air division in each of the seven military regions to a division-level transition training base. Data from other sources seems to indicate that the 16th Air Division became the Shenyang Mr. Training Base, the 17th the Nanjing MRTB, the 46th the Lanzhou MRTB, and the 32nd the Nanjing MRTB. Since then, the PLOF has gradually reduced the remaining 43 operational air divisions to 29. Scramble.nl accessed mid-2015, indicates there are at least six regiments of H-6 bombers. All three regiments of the 8th Bomber Division fly the aircraft, 
the 22nd, 23rd and 24th. Also flying is the 28th Regiment of the 10th Bomber Division and the 107th and 108th Regiments of the 36th Bomber Division. 26th FTRDIV with one regiment previously at Shanghai Kongming Island, 31 ST Fighter Division previously with Jinan MR, 35 TH FTRDIV. There is presently over 150 air bases utilized by the People's Liberation Army Air Force, these are divided into seven military regions as follows. The People's Liberation Army Air Force operates a large and varied fleet of some 3,010 plus aircraft, of which around 2,100 are combat aircraft. According to the International Institute for Strategic Studies, PLOF combat pilots acquire an average of 100 to 150 flying hours per year. For a list of aircraft no longer flown by the People's Liberation Army Air Force C, list of historic aircraft of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. Current Inventory <laughs>